We're hearing from the lawyer of Metro Police Detective Justin Terry and his family. Terry was killed last summer after a construction beam fell onto his car. Earlier today, Fox News' Mike Allen talked with the family's lawyer and joins us now with what they said about the upcoming lawsuit. In June of last year, right behind me on 95, a 7,000 pound beam fell onto Justin Terry's car and killed him. That beam was knocked loose by a tractor trailer that Detective Terry's family's lawyer says was packed too tall. Justin Terry's family filing suit against Western States Contracting and Las Vegas Paving Corporation, along with the driver of the truck that hit the beam. The reason the beam that killed Detective Terry was there in the first place was to warn drivers of the height of the overpass under construction. That 15 feet is the federal standard minimum. Along with the beam, there were signs indicating the 15 feet height limit. No vehicle with a load above 15 feet should be driving there because of the beams and what could happen, which actually did happen. Brian Panish represents the family. He says the beam itself was too heavy. We believe, after conducting our independent investigation, that both of these parties will be held liable for what occurred. As far as the damages the family is seeking, the largest part of the damages will be the non-economic or the real human losses that are suffered. The loss of having a father or a husband for the rest of your life. Panish tells me he expects to be in trial within two years. In Northwest Las Vegas, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And Fox 5 did reach out to both companies that were listed as defendants. We're told that the Las Vegas Paving Corporation would not comment on pending litigation.